The premier in the legislature talking today about his transit plans. Faster, better, cheaper, he says. But how exactly is he going to accomplish that and can he deliver on his promise? Let's take a closer look at what he's saying. We will build a transit system like this province has never seen before. We're putting tens of billions of dollars, tens of billions of dollars into the largest infrastructure transit plan ever in North America. Tens of billions of dollars. Sounds like it will be a whopping sum, but voters have heard this before. The Liberals promised $79 billion in public transit funding over 10 years in their last budget. So is the Premier promising new money, or is this a rejigging of what has been promised before? The Transportation Minister gave few details about costs today. All those details will be in our budget. The province has also put Toronto on notice. It is changing four projects. First, the downtown relief line. The Premier is promising big plans. When they showed me the plan, my jaw dropped. I thought, wow, this is thinking outside the box. Even transit experts like Murtaza Haider are wondering what that could possibly mean. I think it's overpromising. They should be very careful with what they have in mind. And I think going with the tested, tried methods of building transit would be better than saying that we have this jaw-dropping technology. The government also wants to turn the Scarborough subway extension into three stops instead of the currently planned one stop and bury a significant portion of the Eglinton West LRT. In your mind, will billions be wasted if the LRT on Eglinton West is buried and the Scarborough three-stop subway is built? I think the answer is a cautious yes. The demand we need for justifying these humongous expenses, that transit demand neither exists now nor is it expected in the near future. After years of flip-flopping from an LRT to a subway, led by the Premier's former brother, Rob Ford, the Scarborough extension still doesn't have diggers in the ground. A critical concern is further delays could be caused by the provincial changes. I'm very concerned. I think we should look at where the consensus lies amongst engine transportation engineers as to what to build and what's needed, and we should get on with it rather than redrawing everything. I still don't understand how you can do it faster, better, cheaper. Could you explain that? To us. Well, I mean, first of all, you got to look at the, the existing plan for the uh, the relief line uh, is almost double the cost it was when they first started delivering this uh, uh, this uh, this project. Uh, we have uh, looked outside the box and uh, we have created a, a, a plan going forward that is is going to be delivered quicker. It's going to be cheaper. Toronto Mayor John Tory also expressed his concerns about potential delays, calling the province's alterations to plans out of the blue. And another key question for the city, just how much money will they have to contribute to the province's plans?